What's up everybody? Cliff Caesar or CJ Bates here from my Instagram if that's how you found me. Um, I am going to walk you through today a repaint of a bait here from Mystery Tackle Box that I got about a couple months ago. Solid style, deep diver, um, just sad paint job. So we're going to walk, uh, walk through a kind of just a a little bit of redo on this bad boy and uh, kind of show you how you can just take something that you've purchased or had in your tackle box for a few weeks, months, years and uh, give it a little new a little new flair. So join me. Well, let's get started. First thing, just going to tape down the lip, make it simple. Now this one did come with some eyes, not really quality, and they're quite cloudy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and remove them. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Now with both of those removed, let's get to painting. With most pre-painted baits, we're gonna start with a black base coat. Um, what black will do is just covers everything up nice and smoothly. Um, then you can follow that up with a white, white coat. Uh, today, actually, I'm not gonna change the pattern on this too, too much. I'm gonna do a black base coat uh, and then I'm actually going to stencil out some things that I'm going to keep and I'll paint directly over those stencils um, And then we'll roll from there just to give it a good gradient look just like this one um, But a lot cleaner. So here we go Nice and clean. Move on to one more quick layer of black. We're using the Wicked Colors Createx Pearl Black.
All right, so we got our base coat. Createx, uh, wicked, uh, the wicked colors, pearl black, nice and easy, nice and simple. So from here, we're gonna create our quick stencils based off of some simple masking tape I got out of Hobby Lobby. This is the only tape that I found in short span outside of the blue stuff here that you can get in any sports store or um, hardware store that this one doesn't peel the paint off. That's what I found, which has been huge. So I am going to just cut out some small lines to try to mimic what we just had. And then I'll spray the entire bait coat by coat right after that. So here we go. All right, got the first half down. Can kind of see I've got it taped off. I'll spare you the second half and I'll see you when that's down. So, got both sides now taped off and we're gonna hit it with some paint, make it a little gradient just like it was before. We're gonna go green on the top and be a light green all the way down to that orange, orange bottom and that belly. So, we're gonna get moving. Here we go. With some opaque white, create a nice white base coat before we head into those colors. that and do it twice.
There we go. Nice white base coat. I'm going to roll in with some wicked gold and yellow as we hit the mid portion down towards the belly. go. Alright, gonna fill in the top with some Wicked Pearl Lime Green. Come in with a couple coats of this just to make it nice and smooth transition. Heat set that. One more on the top. There we go, starting to take shape. Last step before we hit into the black. Pearl orange, just gonna hit that with the belly. Yep. This stuff's always pretty thick, so I always shoot it at a pretty high PSI. Couple passes, give me a heat set. Go one more to really strengthen that orange belly up. Alright, orange is done. I'm gonna hit the top with the uh, some pearl black and then we'll be all set for this. Alright, we're coming back to hit the top with that wicked pearl black. Nice smooth black with a little bit of added glitter for some extra shine on the top side. This stuff comes out pretty smooth at about 30 to 20 to 30 PSI, even a little less, but we're just going to contour that top side. There we go. Time to unveil our little tapes here once we heat set that. All right, the fun part. Now we just gotta peel these pieces of tape off. Let's see how the black looks. So far, so good.
we go. Way better. I'll get to the other side, grab some eyes, and we'll get moving. go. Figure it's only right to go with some black eyes. So we've got our 3D black eyes here from Dinger Bates. Great place to grab your blanks and your eyes. Dingerbaits.com. go get her clear coated and I'll get you a better picture it looks like my camera is just not zooming in on it as much as I want it to today so apologize for that but a little quick repaint all right we're finished up with it right here again nice little repaint I'll get you a clear image once I get this clear coated we're just gonna dip it KBS clear coat be on its way. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please share it, like it, subscribe, hit the link below. Um, I need to get a new lens. Clearly, this thing is just not wide enough, but I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.